This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to move a synced audio clip less than a frame to improve sync in Apple Final Cut Pro. So how do we move audio by subframes? Well, let's go to the very beginning of the clip and zoom way in. Now you notice this light gray bar. You may not be able to see it. That light gray bar right there represents the distance of a frame. So as I move one arrow forward, I'm, you can see that a frame, I've zoomed in quite far. We can move audio to 1 80th of a frame. I can only edit video on the frame, but I can shift audio by 1 80th of a frame. Now that shift can occur in two ways. I can double click on the audio file itself and now I can trim and notice that I'm trimming in the subframe. I'm trimming within the frame, not simply on the frame boundary. But if I want to move the audio, for instance here, I want to shift the audio to get it in sync because it's just slightly out of sync. Control click on the clip. This is the same as going up to the clip menu. Control click on the clip and say detach audio. And let's just say, hypothetically, that I need to move the, I just trimmed the edge in by grabbing and dragging. Because the audio is now disconnected, I can drag the audio at the subframe level and drag it until it's perfectly in sync. Now keep in mind, if you're shooting at 30 or 60 frames a second, your audio is already within the 30th of a second of being in sync. It may be that that another little bit of twist won't make much difference, but can you do that? Yes, however, at this point, there's no way to sync these, to lock these two clips. They're, they're gonna be standalone, so you wanna protect yourself by selecting both, going up to the file menu and creating a compound clip. We'll just leave that alone. The compound clip now builds them into this linked clip which makes it much harder for you to get the audio out of sync. So can you move audio by the subframe? The answer is yes, you have to disconnect it. Then you reattach it using a compound clip so you don't accidentally knock it out of sync. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 301. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.